Hello guys! Did you know that the diesel version of the Vanagon T3 has a circulation pump for the cooling system after you have turned off the car? Let me show you some trick on this pump. The magic pump is sitting right here. This pump is controlled by this tiny little uh, thermostat which I just have broken, so the wire is loose. But what this pump is doing, it is circulating the water. It's circulating the water inside the oil cooler. After the engine is turned off and when it reaches 105 degrees on the cooling water, then this pump will, will go turn around until the thermostat says it's below 105 and then it will stop. This pump also can be used as an external oil cooling device when your uh, engine oil reaches very high oil temperature like this engine which is an AA set. When I drive this car up hills, long hills, then the engine usually overheats especially the oil and the oil is reaching temperature up to 125 degrees and then this pump will come in handy because the, uh, the water temperature is uh, around 100 degrees only so you have then 20 degrees to cool the oil on so I will install a switch that can override the thermostat in the engine bay. So now I can control it by a switch on the dashboard. That is clever. I learned it from another friend here in Norway. Let's see how I did it. Hey guys, let's try to explain what I have done here. I have soldered the yellow wire to the red and brown, brown red. I have cut the red, black and soldered a diode and a wire to the relay side. So now I just need to hook up uh, this one and tape this one and tuck it away under here and we should be good to go apart from that i broke this one on this uh, sensor i'm using my new headband with this excellent uh, spot this one is excellent when you're working in uh, such tight places highly recommend it Nice, eh? Here we have it. Fun relay and fun LED. Amazing, really nice. To make these uh, labels, I use this uh, Ninbot and the software on my phone. And they make uh, excellent label which can stand the uh, gasoline, oil and uh, everything. Let's see, I just hit the print on this one and then <laughs> magic, eh? Amazingly nice. Can recommend this one. And then we have it. Relay phone. If you have something connected to your ignition, then you might want to add a diode. Oh, that is impossible to see over here, isn't it? In this circuit, because it will be a leakage current and the LED on the, but on the button will be lit all the time. You don't want that. So that that's why we need to add a diode in 
serious with the, in my case, the yellow wire. You then need a heat shrink tube, which I have got this nice package from AliExpress. Yeah. This one needed to be fitted over a cable and the diode. It's important to put this one in the right direction. So, this is called the anode. And this line on the end is called a cathode. Cathode away from the switch. Here we go. And here we go. Then we just need to put the heat shrink over and shrink it. Let's see that everything is correct. The cathode is away from the switch. Then this should work excellent. And here we go. Looks very professional. And the switch also came with this uh, nice uh, quick release. Very nice. Only goes on one way. It has a little notch, claw, hook. Yes, excellent. And we also have these uh, nice stickers from the printer I used in the red. Fantastic quality stickers. This one is connected to the ignition. You still to see this? No ignition on. Fan on. I can hear it going on the rear. Fan off. Fantastic. I bought uh, two other switches. The first one I bought was uh, a silver one with a green light. The second one is a black one which I think fits more nicely to the dash, but that one has a red light. What do you think guys? Should I order a new one in black with green light or should I keep the black one with red light? Because I don't think I like this shiny one. The black looks much better. On to the black dashboard. I can hear the fun is going. <laughs> Amazing. Another nice thing with this um, button and the LED which is built into the button, you can use the LED to monitor if the thermostat is working as well. Look at this. Here we have the wire which I have now disconnected from the thermostat. And if I connect that to earth, we can hear the pump is working and we also can see the LED on the front will light up. So that's another nice feature, which is uh, free of charge. <laughs> Fantastic, eh? Old and new. Okay, here we have it. Then the wiring, yep, there it is, wiring in place, this brown or red, whatever it is. Okay guys, there you have it, new modified uh, pump switch installed, so now it's all up to me to test it. It will not be today and not tomorrow either, but uh, later. I will keep you updated how it, this is working when the engine is real hot. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one, guys. Bye.